Hello, what I'm going to show you today is how to prick out your red veined sorrel seedlings. Now I sowed these most probably about three weeks ago and they have been growing very, very well. Here they are. As you can see, there's lots and lots of them in there and now they are ready to be pricked out and put into individual pots. It's very, very easy to prick them out. I won't prick them out and put one per pot, but what I will do is most probably do about five, I think, per pot and they'll be absolutely fine that way. So let me show you how I'm going to prick out my red veined sorrel seedlings. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one of my little square pots here and I'm going to fill it up with some multi-purpose compost like this. Tap it down like this and then gently firm it down. And we need to get these little seedlings out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my pencil and I'm just going to push it into the compost by one of the seedlings. As I say, we're going to put five little seedlings in per pot, but I'll just take one out and then I can show you. So there we go. Now let's just remove some of this compost and then hopefully we'll be able to see the root system in here. Ah, right. There it is. Hopefully you can see that. So there's the reason why these are called red vein sorrels is because there's a red vein going through. Which way do we want to go? We want to go that way, don't we? Through the leaf. So and also all of this is red as well. I mean, they're beautiful. It's lovely. So there's our stem and then we've got some lovely roots coming across and down all the way down here. So I need five of these. So I've got one down there, two, let's see if we can squeeze some of these apart, three, four, oh, look there's five in there. Okay, so I've got five here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lie them together like that and then I'm going to make a hole in the compost here using my finger a nice big hole like that and then holding all the leaves all I'm going to do is to carefully drop these seedlings in. Now all you want to be above the compost is the leaves. If you have a little bit of stem it's fine but all as much as possible of the stem and obviously all the roots needs to be below in the soil. So just fill in around that. If you need to put a little bit more compost on, then do. So there's one done. I will carry on and do the rest and when I have finished, I will show you. Right, I've finished doing the sorrel. I've got five in each of them and I've got eight pots, so that means I've got 40 plants there, which is absolutely fine, that's more than enough. So what I will do now is I will water these from the top to start with and what that will do is it will level off the compost in the pots and if there are any air pockets, any holes in the compost in the pot, then it will even all of them take all of those away so that's what I will when I first water them any other waters that I do I will actually put water in the tray and I will let the compost in the trays in sorry in the pots soak up the water so that it will encourage the plants to grow down and their roots to fill up the pot now hopefully these should be ready to go outside in most probably about six weeks time I should think and then they will be a good sort of four, six inches tall, hopefully, fingers crossed, which will be nice. So when I do that, I will show you. Well, I hope you are growing sorrel this year. It, sorrel is lovely, it's really nice. I usually have it in the herb bed because then it tends to come back every year and just gets bigger and bigger. Um, and uh, it's really nice, but I've, I have got space in the herb patch, so I'll most probably will pop it in there. 
Well, I hope you found what I've shown you useful and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.